All right, today we're going to look at lesson 8.2, and we're going to start with task 1, if you want to follow along. All right, solve absolute value equations graphically. To solve a one variable equation of the form f of x equals g of x by graphing, you can find the points of intersection on the graphs of the function y equals f of x and y equals g of x. The x-coordinate of each point of intersection is a value of x for which f of x equals g of x and is therefore a solution of the original equation. Alright, let's look at example 1. The graph of f of x equals the absolute value of x minus 5 and g of x equals 3 are shown in the same coordinate plane. You can use these graphs to solve a related equation which is absolute value of x minus 5 equals 3. So you can see where they took f of x and they set that equal to g of x and then we can find the intersection points. The x of the intersection points would be solutions. So for this case 2 and 8 would be your solutions. Alright, so it says how is the equation x, absolute value of x minus 5 equal 3 related to the functions f of x and g of x. So the left side of the equation is f of x and the right side of the equation is g of x. Alright, so the solutions of absolute value of x minus 5 equals 3 are the same as the x coordinates of the intersection points on the graph of f of x and g of x. Complete the following statement. The lesser x-coordinate of the intersection points is blank, and the greater x-coordinate of the intersection points is blank. Alright, so the lesser x is 2, and the greater x is 8. So 2 and 8. And those again are the x-values from the intersection points. How can you verify that the intersection points of the graph correspond to solutions of the equation? Well, you simply have to take the ordered pair and plug it into the equation to see if it works. So 2 comma 3, that's your x and your y value. So if I plug 2 in, will it equal um, what we want it to equal? So 2 minus 5 is negative 3. The absolute value of negative 3 is 3. 3 equals 3, which is my y value. So that one works. And then if we take 8 minus 5, we get 3. Absolute value of 3 is 3. 3 equals 3. So you can see when you plug them in, the ordered pairs work. So that's how you would check to see if it was the solution. Alright, the graphs of f of x and g of x are shown in the same coordinate plane. You can use the graphs to solve the related equation. Absolute value of x minus 5 minus 2 equals 1. So again, you can see f of x is on the left, g of x is on the right. Alright, so we graph these two equations, and again the intersection points are the solutions. So the x value of the intersection points are solutions. Alright, so how is the equation related to the functions f of x and g of x? Well, again, on the left side is your f of x and on the right side is your g of x. Alright, the solutions of absolute value of x minus 5 minus 2 equals 1 are the same as the x coordinates of the intersection points of the graph f of x and g of x. Complete the following statement. The, le the lesser x coordinate of the intersection point is blank and the greater x coordinate is blank. So we can again see 2 and 8 are two x's. Alright, it says complete the best words, choose the best words to complete the statements describing the process used in the solutions of absolute value of x minus 5 minus 2 equals 1 and the absolute value of x minus 5 equals 3. Alright, so it says the graphs of the two related functions of the first equation were translations of the graph of the related function of the second equation. The graphs themselves are equivalent and their solutions are the same. So you can see from above
the different equations here and you can see how this equation here f and g both my two equations have just been shifted down but I still have the same x coordinates 2 and 8 so it's just a transformation um, or a translation of the first function transformations are one type of translations alright that's all for task 1 if you have any questions please let me know